new at five, Paradise could soon return to West Dallas. Yeah, the city's historic Paradise Theater could be a part of a kind of East Side Renaissance. Fox 6's Justin Williams live in West Dallas tonight with more. Justin? Ted, you know, in real estate, they always discuss the importance of location, and you have a pretty good one here. You're right between Greenfield and National Avenue right here in West Dallas. This is the home of the, the longtime home, I should say, of the Paradise Theater. But for a long time, it's been Paradise Lost. However, now, new ownership has been found. As far as I can remember, the Paradise Theater has always been in that location. It pretty much looks the same today as it did then. But things could soon change for West Dallas' Paradise Theater in the 6200 block of West Greenfield with word the space is now under new ownership. So I hope Jay can make something happen here. Jay is Jay Hollis, who along with his wife Courtney has purchased the Paradise. Jay is known for turning Wauwatosa's former Tulsa Theater into the Rosebud Cinema Draft House back in 1999. Wednesday, he's a bit too busy repairing the Paradise Roof to talk to us, and West Dallas's community development manager, Patrick Sloss, explains there is a lot of work left to do to make the theater feel like Paradise once again. It's a great historic property. We see a lot of redevelopment going on in this area with over 700 new housing units going up. Um, there's, there's a great buzz. Good afternoon, Kegelson. How can I help you? The, the early years of the restaurant were also the early years of the cinema. The buzz is already strong in one of the neighborhood's old mainstays, Kegel's Inn. And seeing a lot of uh, movies there, Elvis Presley, The Beatles, and A Hard Day's Night. Yeah, uh, it was just a great place. Longtime bartender Scott Panoski says he spent many a matinee in the 1920s era theater. He describes the days when dinner and a movie met Kegel's and Paradise, and he's hoping for many romantic returns. It'd be nice to have people coming here for the dinner and and then the, uh, the movie like it used to be years and years ago. And I, I think a lot of people would look forward to something like that. The city of West Ellis is giving the Hollises six additional months to complete their renovations. In the meantime, Friday, West Ellis city inspectors are set to meet with the Hollises to discuss their plans for the future of this space. So obviously we'll have to stay tuned for this and we'll keep you updated there at Fox 6. Right now, that is the latest from West Ellis. I'm Justin Williams, Fox 6 News. Well, well talking about the Rosebud, which is a great place in Tosa on North Avenue, that is a dinner and a movie place. You can eat right there and take it in and watch the movie. Is that the same kind of thing we're talking about here? Well, we don't know just yet, and that's why this meeting on Friday with the city inspectors uh -huh. will be critical in terms of determining what the future will. They're anxious to hear what the Hollises have in mind. For today, it was just being on the roof and doing some repairs up there. Hard Day's Night was a great movie by the Beatles, too. All right, J.W., thanks. <laughs>